Welcome to Startup Pack. All right, so every year there's a new hottest programming language that's supposedly going to take the world by storm. Now, meanwhile, C Sharp has been quietly evolving into the most complete, powerful developer tool on the planet. So I've been coding for 25 years, and I'm telling you that in 2025, C Sharp is the single best investment you can make in your coding career. With .NET's nine game-changing performance improvements, native AOT compilation, and the newest Microsoft 5 models, absolutely insane C Sharp capabilities, we're seeing a language that isn't just keeping up, it's pulling ahead. So if you're not looking into c-sharp you're definitely missing out on the most productive ecosystems and seriously i mean this let's dive into some of the details today All right, welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer Thompson here at Startup Pack. We love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. With 25 years uh, in software development and over a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So as I was saying, C Sharp in 2025 is absolutely still crushing it. So if you think this is a language from 2010, you're totally missing out. Because I want to break down exactly why this language should deserve your attention right now. So if you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, I'm going to show you why C-sharp should be the top of your priority list. So Donna and I has completely transformed what's possible with C-sharp with performance improvements that are nothing short of revolutionary. So they've got native AOT compilation, and which means that C-sharp apps now start nearly instantly and is dramatically less memory. So it used to require the .NET runtime to do some just-in-time compilation. Now the AOT compilation is even faster. This is just basically .NET has been amazing and now it's getting even better. Microsoft's investment in the SIMD and hard Hardware acceleration means C Sharp now outperforms many performance focused languages on numerical computing tasks. So I've been watching uh, programming language evolve for 25 years and I've never seen improvement this dramatic in, in, in over the time, right? C Sharp has steadily been the hair that has contained, or the, the tortoise that's continued to beat the hair and now it's the hair, right? The new memory management optimizations uh, have eliminated what used to be C Sharp's biggest weakness compared to languages like Rust. So now these upgrades mean that C Sharp is now viable for everything from embedded systems to high performance computing, not just enterprise apps. Now it's been the winner in the enterprise app world for a long time because .NET is so easy to build on, but now it's actually beating everything on performance and it works great on IoT, works great on embedded, works great on, on Linux servers. I run all of our stuff and have for the last decade on Linux servers, right? So now Microsoft's four five, uh, five, four models uh, have specialized capabilities for generating and understanding C-sharp code that really beats the competitors, right? So the integration between C-sharp and Microsoft's AI tooling creates a development experience that feels like coding with a team of senior engineers. And .NET's ML libraries are continuing to offer great performance compared to uh, Python's ecosystem. Now I know Python is what everybody does for go-to for ML and AI stuff, but, the, but uh, .NET's ML is way faster. It's beating the competition. So you can now run 5.4 Mini locally using Olama with C-sharp and some other tools that I'm gonna demonstrate for you. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I definitely am giving you a lot of great things on how to build some DIY uh, AI servers using .NET and to make it so that you can run these economically. It's really easy to rack up crazy insane bills with AI and I wanna show you how you can do it and get some really effective things to build some effective agents using Fi and using .NET. So it's part of the reason I really want to make sure that we're really continuing to still plug C Sharp and .NET because I, I think a lot of people think AI and they immediately go to Python, but there's new AI powered dev tools for C Sharp to spot bugs and performance issues that will also help you. So <clears throat> C-sharp has finally achieved the holy grail of cross-platform development, and they've been there for almost a decade, right? The days of .NET being a Windows-only ecosystem are far in the rearview mirror, like over 10 years ago. So with .NET 9, your C-sharp code runs natively on Windows, Mac, Linux, Linux, iOS, Android, and even direct line hardware with the Nano framework. Microsoft has invested heavily in making the developer experience consistent across platforms so you're not constantly fighting with environment-specific bugs. So the new cross-platform UI framework uni uh, unifies mobile, desktop, and web development in a way that no other ecosystem has accomplished. So I've built a production system on every major platform, and C-sharp is the only 
only language where I don't have to maintain separate code bases or worry about platform specific quirks. Now C Sharp started as an enterprise language, which gave it a rock solid stability and it's great for teams, right? But it's type system, so the type system combined with safety of static typing with the flexibility of dynamic languages thanks to features like pattern matching and type inference. So the tooling around C Sharp is the best uh, that you can get, right? Even all of these new AI tools are starting to rip off VS Code, but Visual Studios and VS Code have been staples for a long time. Modern C Sharp code is concise and expressive while maintaining readability, which matters a huge amount. I can't stand reading Python, but C Sharp to me is far easier to read. So speaking of if your systems are, are slow and not working well, reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, we love to help you connect your systems. Our specialty is helping you connect your system so that your team runs like a well-oiled machine. And our teams can help you out with that. So check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, modern C Sharp with .NET 9 delivers performance that approaches C++ in many benchmarks while being dramatically safer and more productive. The new span of T and memory of T types allow zero allocation operations on a memory block that you to require unsafe code or numerous copies. Now, hardware intrinsic, uh, intrinsics gives you direct access to CPU-specific instructions. Now, I've spent a lot of time writing C++, but modern C Sharp is so much easier, and the just-in-time comp compiler in .NET 9 performs optimizations that would require expert-level knowledge in something like C++. So for 90% of applications out there, C++ now eliminates the traditional trade-off between developer productivity and runtime performance. Sure, there may be some really hardcore embedded stuff that you still got to write in C++, but truly 90% of anything you write now can be written and run fastest in C Sharp. And I would love to see somebody prove me wrong. So while everyone rushes to learn JavaScript and Python, C Sharp has quietly become one of the highest paying skills you can have in software development. Major tech companies are increasingly moving critical infrastructures to .NET because it's been around for a long time and it's backed by a company like Microsoft. The enterprise roots of C Sharp means that jobs tend to be more stable with better benefits than positions in more trendy languages. So if you want to go work for a startup and work 80 hours a week and get, you know, and risk it all on um, on stock options, great. If you want a great paying job that's going to be around for a long time, generally speaking, look for the versatility of C Sharp because it's not just pigeonholing you into a specific industry like, like a lot of these other languages are. Now, Unity is also continue to dominate in game development and C Sharp is definitely a language of choice for Unity developers in 2025. The new .NET 9 features have unlocked performance to make C Sharp viable even for the most demanding real-time applications and games. Microsoft game development ecosystem continues to center around C Sharp with Xbox development hev heavily leveraging the language. So skills you develop creating games in C Sharp transfers directly into other domains. You can move from between C Sharp and C++ almost seamlessly. Now the C, C Sharp community in 2025 is one of the strongest you're going to find out there. You're genuinely not going to find a bigger uh, community out there. So the migration uh, to open source that happened in the mid uh, 2010s transformed C Sharp from a corporate language to a community driven powerhouse. Majority, even what you host on Azure now is majority of the times hosted on Linux, unless you specifically say you want to host it on Windows. So C Sharp's evolution has been a remarkable, thoughtful, and it's been amazing to add features and watch it continue to improve, right? The language designers clearly actually write C Sharp code themselves, which show how practical each new feature is. So the C Sharp team consistently focuses on making common things easy while keeping advanced capabilities accessible to you. And so you never have to worry about like a new C sharp or a new .NET language breaking uh, previous code, right? It's backwards compatibility has been the case for, you know, well over a decade. So the containerized story for .NET applications have been completely transformed with images that are now smaller than equivalent Node.js applications. So here a lot of people say, well, but Node.js starts up lighter and faster. It's totally not the case. C Sharp's cloud computing tools in 2025 is totally unmatched. We're running some amazing things using Docker for some of our clients that literally are mind boggling. The new minimal APIs in .NET 9 have it so you can spin up an API or a microservice in literally one uh, one file with less than 30 lines of code. So if you're not using Azure um, or and you wanna use other places, C Sharp can totally be deployed to any Linux system. We're running it on absolutely everything. I love the combination of, uh, of Nginx for a proxy, .NET running Kestrel, 
blazing fast, blazing fast. So the pattern matching capabilities that write in declarative code are both safer and more readable in, dot, in um, C Sharp because it has a type system that has evolved into perhaps the most powerful and flexible in mainstream programming. Records and uh, discriminating unions bring the, most, the best features of functional programming while maintaining C Sharp's object-oriented foundation. So C Sharp has been a top language for well over 20 years. I remember going, I was at ASU, uh, Arizona State University where I got my degree uh, in computer science was uh, heard that a Microsoft representative was coming to campus. At the time I was writing a uh, classic ASP on old Microsoft machines that were laying around the office for uh, the technical support department that I worked at at the electricity company. And I heard that a Microsoft representative was coming and there was a new language that was going to be announced. And so I went and we're hearing about this C pound thing or, oh, I guess they're calling it C sharp, right? Like, and I didn't know what this language was. And I remember downloading the very first beta edition. In fact, I think I might've even gotten it on a CD. I don't even know if I downloaded it. I think I got it on a CD uh, of the first beta compiler for C sharp. And at first I, I built some stuff with it, but I couldn't really deploy it because the .NET framework wasn't really widely spread out. So I kept working with classic ASP, but was writing some stuff in C sharp um, that just for prototype stuff. And then it really took on and the .NET hit, uh, .NET, um, framework started getting pushed out of windows updates and boom, I was off and running. And by 2003, I was writing C sharp full time. So I truly started writing C sharp from the very beginning. I've been writing it for over 20 years. I've never regretted it. I've never been like, man, maybe I should learn another language. C sharp is the most powerful server side uh, stack that you can find. So if you're looking to future proof your career uh, and your company's technology stack, uh, also, Startup Pack can help you out because here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as build custom software solutions for companies. So if you need help, reach out to us because truly one of my favorite things is to help companies uh, with their tech stack, and we can do a lot to help with you. And so reach out to startuppack.com slash Spencer. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a developer or diving into a .NET course, if, even if you're a developer on another stack, we could love to help you out. And we could almost always find um, uh, funding for you through government grants. So reach out to us and here's some great information. Want to become a software developer but don't want to spend four years in college and rack up massive student loan debts? Think you need technical expertise to get started? Welcome to Startup Hack, a better way to start your software career without student loans and years without income. One-on-one -on -one tutoring is included so you never get stuck and have guidance through the whole process. No technical experience is necessary. Learn at your own pace and in your own space. Startup Pack has worked with local state agencies in your area to make it so that qualifying students can get the program costs covered entirely and students can start earning while they learn. Startup Pack's .NET Coding Bootcamp was a game changer for my career. As someone with no prior programming experience, I was initially intimidated by the idea of learning to code, but the instructors at Startup Pack broke down complex concepts into easy to understand lessons and provided hands-on projects that really cemented my understanding. The curriculum was comprehensive and up-to-date and got me ready for my first job. What really set Startup Pack apart was to focus on practical, real-world skills. Thanks to Startup Pack, I landed my dream job as a .NET developer within weeks of graduating. I went from knowing nothing about code to building professional grade web applications in just a few intense months. If you're looking to break into .NET development or level up your coding skills, I cannot recommend Startup Pack enough. Complete our three month coding bootcamp, gain hands on experience, and land a paid internship. With two years of experience, on average, our graduates are making over $80,000 per year. The three month program includes technologies from Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. No debt, just a quick path to earning. Check out startuppack.com to code your future and start today.